Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. I just wanna let you guys know how easy it is to sign up with us. All you have to do is call, text, or email, or you can also go to our website at titanmedicalcenter.com, click the tab, and fill out the new patient paperwork. Then you can be seen via FaceTime or Skype. You don't even have to come into the office. You can then have a consultation with myself or one of our other awesome providers. Here at Titan, we offer hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, anti-aging therapies, injectable vitamin and amino acid therapies, hangover and rejuvenation recovery, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, blood work, peptide therapies, IV therapy, and we service nationwide. Whether it be boosting your immune system function, building lean muscle mass, whatever the case may be, we're here to help. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. What's up guys, John from Titan here. And it's the beginning of the week. You know, everybody hates the start of the week. So I'm gonna make it that much better for you guys. We're gonna call this Merch Monday. So here at Titan Medical Center, I'm fulfilling the orders for you guys personally. So I'm gonna pack you guys up some good merch. We'll have a giveaway every Monday for some merchandise. Whether it's a t-shirt, a tank top, leggings, or maybe one of those special exclusive Titan gear like these Nike jerseys we have here. So, tune in every Monday, Merch Mondays, in effect now, every Monday, we will be giving away some free Titan gear for ladies and guys. So get ready for Merch Monday. What's up guys? John here from Tight Medical Center and you might recognize the person standing next to me, this beautiful guy right here. If you don't know who he is, this is one of my APRNs, Cass Fernandez. He is very inclined and in tune to hormone replacement therapy. So I thought you guys wouldn't want to see my ugly mug or just my ugly mug. So I want to bring a beautiful guy on here so he can show you guys and tell you guys about hormone replacement therapy in a more medical way per se, right? So let's break it down and really get into it, Cass. So Cass, what is a hormone? It's a great question. A hormone is a chemical that makes up how we feel pretty much every day. It can be our mood, how we feel as far as sleep goes, energy levels, and it affects our overall health. All right, so hormones are very important in our body, right? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, they pretty much signal and do a lot of different things that our body needs and helps us grow and helps us think and metabolism, all these great things. So hormone replacement therapy you think is pretty important for people? It couldn't be more important. Hormone therapy basically makes up our well-being, our quality of life. And that's for people that just need it, not people just trying to get big in the gym or do those things. Oh, it does so much more than just build muscles. I mean, it goes from focus, energy levels, recovery, sleep quality, libido health, overall health in general. Right, I think that's a big misconception out there that are people, you know, they, they think, oh, you know, testosterone and all these things, it's just for people wanting to get big and I'm gonna get all aggressive and flip out on people and all these bad things, right? Yeah, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, hormones will balance you out. It's gonna okay. make you feel better, more okay. productive at life in general. The only way people become aggressive, if that even happens, is when they abuse things, when they do things without a medical provider, without right. Teen Titan. Right. So those are ways that we can make you feel good, make you feel stable. Mm -hmm. So the best way to look at, maybe if I need hormone replacement therapy, because it's maybe not for everybody out there, the first thing is probably do is a blood test, right? Absolutely, simple blood test. We can evaluate whether you have an indication for treatment and mm -hmm. optimization. Okay, awesome. So blood test and then they get to talk to you or one of the other medical providers? That's right, yes, we're here to help. Okay, and in this conversation or consultation, you pretty much go in depth with everything, right? Family history, health history, they talk about their symptoms, possible goals. Sure, that, that's part of the evaluation, that's part of the indication. So it's not just a number, you know, it's more overall health, well-being, and symptoms. All that comes into play when it comes to diagnosing, treating, and just improving life overall with hormone replacement therapy. And I think that's a big thing that people need to know out there, that, you know, you wanna to go to somebody that is very in tune to hormone replacement therapy. That's dealing with it on a daily basis 
basis and seeing patients over and over and over and helping patients out with this. That's what Titan Medical Center really does specialize in. Specializes in results and we have our medical providers yeah. and practitioners here that are really inclined and in tune to help you guys out with your quality of life and to get you right guys into a harmonic balance per se. Because, I mean, you can throw hormones off too as well, right? Oh yeah, I mean, balance is everything. You can't just think, take this hormone and you're gonna feel better. Well, that has an effect on another hormone. So okay. some providers don't really follow them that closely like we do here at Titan. Right. So we know affecting one hormone affects another and can quite possibly make you feel ill. So we will balance them out so you're level. Right. So that's really important for you guys to know. Not everybody is really in tune to hormones or knows kind of what they're talking about. I mean, there's a lot of doctors out there, a lot of practitioners out there that can practice hormone replacement therapy, but not might, or they might not be as good at it, I guess, or might not be practicing as much as they should be, uh, or might not just have the knowledge, you know, that some of our practitioners do. Um, Type Medical Center's been around for nine years. We got a pretty good record as far as that with our patients, great retention, great results for our patients, and great medical providers to deal with our patients. So in this consultation, it's pretty much a personalized consultation with you and the patient. Um, and how long do those consultations usually last? I mean, they last about 20 to 45 minutes, depending how much information you need, how much information I need to find out and figure out to just okay. optimize the patient overall. So in general, you come see us, we'll talk about your goals, we'll talk about your previous medical history, your family history, you know, if there's any indicators for treatment. So we're gonna go in depth to a customized program that's just for you, not for, right. it's not one size fits all by Absolutely. any means. Absolutely. This is very customizable. All doses are different depending on the patient's needs. That's right, that's right. And that's big out there. It's not a cookie cutter program. But a lot of different places out there, you might be getting a cookie cutter. Not one size fits all, just like Cass said. And it's very true because, you know, different medications can affect our bodies differently, right? Everybody's different to a certain extent? Absolutely, absolutely. It's all about metabolism, how you, how you metabolize. Mm -hmm. You know, we can kind of see that from different medical issues with patients. Mm -hmm. You know, one patient may not respond the same way another patient responds. Gotcha. So we take that into consideration when we're thinking about treatment programs for our patients. So it's, like I said, very customizable. Very good, very good. So this is really important information for you as a patient. You wanna know that the medical provider is gonna be there for you. They're gonna be able to explain a lot of these different things in depth to you guys, explain how to do these medications, possibly offer other therapies that can help you and improve your quality of life and overall health because that should be number one priority, right? Couldn't I mean, be further from the truth. Overall know? health, that's what we do. Absolutely. Overall health. It's Absolutely. not just muscles. That's a great side effect of our therapies, but Absolutely. it's more about optimizing health. Absolutely. From from libido to metabolism to concentration levels to a lot, lot more, hormone replacement therapy might be a great option for you. So if you want to see one of our great medical practitioners, our providers, the first step for hormone replacement therapy is to call or text us at 727-389-3220. We can set you up with blood work in your area, anywhere in the United States. And you can either come into our office or if you're not in the area, you can always do FaceTime if you have an Apple product or you can do Skype if you have an Android or a uh, computer that doesn't have an Apple product associated with it. And you can possibly see Cass Fernandez himself, APRN, or one of our other great medical providers that can help you guys out with your questions, concerns, and to put you guys back on track and your road to success with hormone replacement therapy. I'm Chenille, I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. 
Just wanna kinda of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other medical conditions can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones, um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, so the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling, and see how we can help. What's up guys, John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Uh, Cupid's Corner is here for you guys. If you're single or you're a couple or you're married or whatever it is, we're trying to give you guys good tips, tricks, and things that maybe or should help your relationship hopefully reignite that flame or get it back to that top level tier where you guys should be enjoying each other, loving life, maybe not every day and every second, but majority of the time you guys are enjoying life and together so uh this this week's topic is a really good topic you know it had me thinking you know sharice came up with this one oh i come up with one um, so this is a really good one now <laughs> you know out there just think about this the word love it's thrown around so much mm -hmm. i love you i love you i love you like you hear it here it. and it's true like the less you hear it, the more important it really is when you do hear it, I guess, mm -hmm. right? But people want to hear that more often because it's just a, it's a powerful word. Like, I love you. Like, oh, man, that means so much. Right. And mm -hmm. so many definitions for, for people in their mind, you know? Different people think love is a different thing, you know? It could yeah, be. Yeah, they anyway. could attach a different thing, too. Yeah. Absolutely. So this week is the topic of when do you know that you've fallen in love or that you're in love? Mm -hmm. And this is a really good question to ask yourself. What even ask your partner? Like, yeah, when did ask you, them. Yeah, when did you know? Like, <laughs> when did you know? Like, you were in love with me. Like, what? What day was it? What time was it? No, I, I, I have it down pat. There's no way she could tell time. All right? Maybe the day. I could tell right? you even the yeah. You'll you know, see. but it's important to know like when when around that time or what really you know was the circumstance or situation that made you realize, oh my God, I really do love this person, right? I, I wanna be with this person all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, the first thing about it is, I mean, for me, love is, you know, when you cannot stand not to be around that person. Like, you have to be around that person, right? Um, you wanna be around them, you're thinking about them all the time, you wanna do all these great things with them, um, and everything else is kinda just blocked out, right? And sometimes you don't realize this until something happens. Mm -hmm. And it could be good or bad, right? And it just makes you realize, oh my God, I love this person. Like, there's nobody else that I would rather want to be around or date or be with at that point in time. Yeah, that's a feeling for it, sure. It, it really is, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, the time, like, you know, it, it could be in a number of different circumstances out there. You guys could be sharing some experience out there and it's like oh my god like i love this person like i want to spend the rest of my life with this person because usually people that love each other they they literally like progress like their relationships progress it's you know from dating to serious dating to moving in together usually or marriage right away that was two weeks for us but <laughs> <laughs> kind of did things in overdrive. We got you a little bit. Right? And usually that doesn't work for some people. <laughs> it it, it's it's a rarity, okay? You don't just move in with somebody two weeks later and, and then don't do that. at that point plan on getting married and have kids yeah, you know, don't in a do couple that. months. Yeah, a couple months. It, it usually doesn't happen like that. And if it does, usually it's sporadic and they usually... Then you got to adapt. They don't last. They don't usually they last. They don't last. Yeah. Uh, let's let's just face it. And even even people that have dated for two or three years, mm -hmm. right after they get married, like it's just something to people. Like 
and it's just a piece of paper, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a legal like binding contract per se, or or document saying that you guys are together, and now you guys are going to show, you know, share now you everything. Half. Now you get right? <laughs> that's that's basically what it <laughs> that's is. That's what it comes down to. Um, you know, so at that point, why should it change? And it shouldn't change. You right. know, like if you guys are dating for one year or six months or thirteen years or ten years. If you do get married, then things shouldn't change. That's just a document that says, hey, listen, we're legally married. That just is what it is. We're going to share everything. And uh, hopefully there's going to be no secrets. You're going to be there for me in my time of need, and I'll be there for you, good and bad times. Sign here. Right? <laughs> Sign here. So, you know, at that point, I, that's what love is to me. Love is like I, I wouldn't want to be with anybody else except, for, you know, Sharice. Um, I don't want to spend my time with anybody else. You know, everything else when I'm with her is kind of blocked out. Like, you know, my phone, I, I only get on there for business or maybe a couple of personal things here or really there. Good at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you looked at my text messages and all that, you would understand. That's called the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it is, right? Like family is everything to me. And like, I think over yeah. the years, your priorities and things change. If you know, you're maturing, I guess you're going through different phases of life. And for me, that's, that's what it is. And I'm in that phase and I'm happy with that. That's what makes me happy. Um, other people aren't like that. They have not matured to that level. That's what I say, maturity, because mm -hmm. that's really what it is. Like, you usually mature in levels and, and, and things that you're doing, and hopefully, and progressing in life in a good way um, and not in a bad way. What do you think, Cherise? How, I, I what's like, your definition of love? Well, I want well. to hear this. <laughs> hear this. I don't know. I didn't know what I thought I knew what love was before I met John, and then after I met John, I was like, oh, this must be what it is. And honestly, I really couldn't put into words like what love means. I really couldn't. I think it's just for me personally, it's like a feeling. You know, it's like um, it's like that gut feeling that you feel when you go like on a roller coaster and you take that dive right down and yeah, you kind of get that, that little butterfly feeling. You know that yeah. when you get that, it's then you kind of know. You know, because I feel like you don't get that with everybody. What do you meet with one guy from whatever Insta Insta swipe or whatever it's called? Um, and you meet with them and you get butterflies? That doesn't happen. That doesn't, I mean, seriously, it doesn't happen. So when you guys have been together for X period of time and you've been together and you then at some point, if you do feel that feeling, you know, that's when you know. You know, you just know. You just know. And that's how you know. I mean, how did you know you were in love with me? When was that? Like I said, I, I, gonna line up. I can't. I can't name a, a date and time per se, right? But I mean, like we dated for a couple of weeks and stuff like that. And like I went on a trip to like Costa Rica. And like you know, I was I, I, I literally lost my wallet out there. Lost mm -hmm. my wallet. Buddy that I was with, all his credit cards got shut down because he was out of the country. I was pissed. So I was depending on this guy for the next couple of days. I'm like, you know, I'll get you back when I get home. Uh, literally, like my clip, had my debit cards, my I'm cash, like, yeah, yeah, my yeah. ID. I didn't Whatever. have anything. I had nothing. You just want another day in Costa Rica. It, that literally was not the choice. So, you know, <laughs> that's a whole different story. <laughs> I got stuck there, basically, and had to fight my way back. And, and luckily, you know, I tried to call everybody to give me some money for a couple hundred bucks so I could get back. I couldn't get hold of <laughs> it was bad. It was really, really bad. But yeah, it's it an bad. experience I'll never forget. You know, it's a humbling experience, all these different things. But that's kind of when I knew. Like, you know, I was like, I want to get back. I want to get back to her. I really don't care what's going on. Um, and then after that, it just it was just more like, you know, she was there to pick me up from the airport. You know, like, you know these, these different things, you know. Like, I was like, I really do care about this girl. I, I, I do love her. I guess it's just over time. And it was a short time. Yeah, it was short. You know, because we spent so much time together, you know, in the beginning and still do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important, too, you know, spending time with each other. And if you guys can't spend time with each other without killing each other, and not 24-7, but, yeah. you know, a majority of the time after work, whatever it is, then you guys got to re reassess and reevaluate things, you know? So I know, I know, I know, I, I, I know. that was it. I know when, I know when. Oh, yeah, when? Yeah, until the T. I, I don't even have to think about it. Okay. So I, I know, I know, I used to do Coors Light promotions. Um, <laughs> it was fun, you know, great. <laughs> Good money, you know, on the side for my little nursing gig or whatever. But anyways... You know, when I met him, I used to do these promotions and like, you know, it would be a bunch of girls and we'd go out and after the promotion, we'd all, it was like 10, 11, 15, whatever of us, a bunch of us. And we'd all go out after, like we go to the bar, go wherever, go to the club, go hang out, go wherever. Right. So, um, there was a night and I was working one of the promotions 
And I know you can't forget this. Oh, thing. I remember. <laughs> to a T. And so um, I was working with the promotions, and he was at home, right? So he's just hanging out in bed, just chilling, watching, watching TV. TV. <laughs> you know, so I, he's waiting, you know, for me to come home, and I get done with the promotion, and I'll of the girls are like hey listen we think about this guy he's got this boat we're gonna go out on the boat let's go out and have a couple drinks it's gonna be so much fun and i'm like no no no. i'm gonna i have people to vouch for this too i'm like i'm good i'm good i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back and hang out with john and they're like you're gonna go back and hang out with john i'm like yeah i'm gonna go back and hang out with john i'm like that's what i want to do well just come out with us for a little bit longer and then you can go i'm like "Mm, you know no well i want to i just want to go hang out with him and then I literally, when I tell you, so I came, I drove home, I, I was like, hey, I'm going to come back, you know, I'm, I'm done. And I got back to uh, the house, and I literally stole my outfit and everything, right? And I, like, jumped up on the bed, I'm like, I'm going to quit this job. <laughs> I'm never doing another promotion again. I'm, I, I know that this is this is just over. Like this, this part of my life is over. I know that I don't want to spend any curricular, like extracurricular activities with other males or with other females that were around males. Like this was when I knew I was like, I wanted to spend my time with him instead of my girlfriends who obviously were all single and they all were trying to mingle. And I'm like, I don't need to mingle. (laughs) Like I'm good. So that's, I knew it right then and there. I knew it that night. And Mm. I was like, oh, man, I'm in love. I remember coming home that night. Literally, I remember what I was going to. I was literally laying in bed just watching TV. Of course. Oh, my gosh. It was yesterday. I knew. I just knew. I mean, before that, I still got, like, some of the butterflies here and there. You know, I really, really, really liked them. You know, I liked them a lot. Um, But, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't think I was ready for a relationship just yet at that time is I wasn't looking for a relationship and when your mindset isn't looking for a relationship you're not so inept to be like oh let me go fall in love real quick you know I wanted some space you know between relationships um didn't really happen that way but uh you know everything happens for a reason and then you know we're together a decade plus later I mean same with me like I literally was not <laughs> looking for a relationship at no, all no it wasn't either look like at that fresh out of one too myself so we were kind of in the same boat on that and it was you know like it's nothing that's forced and no. you know, things that are forced usually never work out because somebody really doesn't want to do it right and it's hard to really force people to do things and people do they try to manipulate or force in one way or another They're like no you're not gonna do this not like that but you know they give them ultimatums or they might say things that you know make that person think well i, I better do this mm-hmm. and at that point like it usually never works out um so at that point like if you are like a true romantic you know, i want to find love because we get it all the time it's like oh i'm so jealous of your relationship right i wish i had what you guys had and you know it's it's a work in progress yes you have to work on it you have to find and, and nowadays listen I, I i'm with you guys i feel for you guys <laughs> and girls trying to find a decent relationship out there decent people Ugh, um nobody wants to try that. anymore it's the social media and swiping right and you know bumble and all these different things that are out there that affect relationships and people but just got to get back to that core thing like you know i don't think people really know know especially go, going on a real date you have virtual dates now, but going on a real date, like I know people can Zoom and they talk about like who they are and, and all these different things, but like going on an experience, like like asking a girl out, like literally going up to her and asking her out mm-hmm. in, in a way like, hey, listen, you know, I'd really like to do something with you. And at that point, planning something, not telling her what you're gonna do. Usually you would go, you would say, listen, I'm gonna pick you up at your house at seven o'clock or eight o'clock, right. whatever it is, right. right? You set a time. You're, you're not like, oh, you know, what do you want? No, 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 you plan out what you're gonna do. Like, listen, I'm gonna take this girl to, if I'm here in Florida, like I'm gonna take her to the beach or I'm gonna go take her miniature golfing or, or whatever it is, plan that out, share the experience. Because that's really what makes, uh, what makes those feelings, like you sharing experience with people. Um, you know, I go back to like military and stuff like that. Now there's not a love, experience with those guys but they're spending so much time together and sleeping together in the same barracks and all those different things it it creates camaraderie it, it, they ha- have a feeling even if they don't like the people they're with it just it feels like that but love is a whole different thing right because a male and a female it's just a natural thing and at that point you find love. i feel like even not even that so like just going back to what he was saying like core you know core values so like you know, my parents, you know, they were together until I was 21, then they got divorced. 
um, and your parents were also together. 21. 21. That's odd. It was another uh, thing we had <laughs> Really common. weird, you know, because he was actually, I think you were with me towards the latter part of that where they were getting a divorce. But I was with you the whole time. When I, I remember when I first met Sharice, she didn't talk to her mom. I was like, listen, you go talk to your mom. Mm. You need to talk to your mom. You can thank him for that. So mom. at that point, that's what happened. Like, she was like, ah. Oh. So that, and I met her mom. I met her dad. They were still married. Her brother was still in junior high at the time. Baby. You know, it's been that long. So Little baby. I remember all of this. But that's just enough. <laughs> we'll, we'll set that for a whole other time. We're running, Memories. We're running short on time. But listen, find true love. Know what true love is, okay? It's not sex. It's not lust, okay? Don't think it is. It's much, much more. Can and money can't buy this. Money can't buy this. Money can't buy you love. I know you see this in like movies and like titles and stuff like that. But if you buy a girl big diamonds and big watches and go get your this, that, the other, here's a big house and here's that and the other, it doesn't buy you love. Me and John, we've been to the bottom. When I say True. rock bottom, rock bottom. True. He didn't have to give me anything because I loved him. I want, it didn't matter. At the end of the day, you know, it was ride or die. Yeah. You know, I was, I was gonna be by his side no matter what. But I'm telling you guys, just for you guys out there, just cause we're on that topic, money does not buy love. Nope. True statement. It. That's a whole different thing. So if you want somebody that's with you for nothing, yeah. it's always good to tell somebody you have nothing. Don't let them see the car you're driving, you're driving so really nice to say you have nothing. If they still want to stay with you at that point, they really don't know who you are or what it is, that's a keeper for sure. Like people like, you know, like Jeff Benzo, like his wife, he had nothing when he was first started Amazon. She stuck with him. Now, they're divorced now, mm -hmm. but at that point, like, listen, she was with him through this up. Like, LeBron James, I don't like him at all. <laughs> uh, I think he's a great basketball player. I give him credit for that. But oh, my personal, I just don't like him. But he's with his high school sweetheart. This guy, you know, they've been together through probably thick or thin, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might have thought he was a star, but still, he stuck with her and she stuck with him. That's a great thing. Mm -hmm. So, that's just another tip and trick from me and Sharice for Cupid's Corner this week. Visit us or see us every Sunday at 11 a.m. in ABC. If you guys can't get this or you guys are watching the channel uh, like YouTube and stuff like that, we'll be back every Sunday or new episodes will be launched on our social media so you guys can kept, keep up with us, all right? Yep. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week. See you then.